Now you live right in Manhattan. We won't give away your address so the crazy fans can't get to you, but you live right here in Manhattan. How is that different from your native Norway? Oh, uh, very different. I mean, everything you can imagine is, is different. Um, I'm used to uh, anywhere I drive, it's going to be a five minute drive. Here it's, <laughs> here it's an hour or two. <laughs> Yes, they didn't tell you about the traffic before no, they brought was, you over. No, it was the, the traffic and the broker's fee. Those are the two things that, <laughs> yes. uh, that caught me off guard. They always get you with the broker fee. Now, I think it's cool because you live with a couple soccer players, and one of them is Kyrie Shelton, who's a rookie who plays for NYCFC. So do you give him, like, the rookie behavior even at home? Like, does he have to do the laundry, the dishes, clean the bathroom, you know, all that stuff? Yeah, there, there's some perks of being the, the older guy. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Obviously, he's, he's the driver uh, every morning to, to the training facility. He's a good driver, though, so no, we have a lot of fun. And, and watching the college draft uh, back in January, I, I had no idea that he was going to be my roommate uh, two, three months later. What would he say about, you know, you and, and your lifestyle and how you live? Are you clean? Are you messy? What would Kyrie say? Um, <laughs> Kyrie would say I'm a, I'm a clean guy, I think. And uh, you got to ask him. But, yeah, I think, I think, I think he likes me. Um, we, we try to be nice to each other. Okay, let's talk soccer a little bit because you guys are playing in Yankee Stadium, which is the smallest field in MLS. Do you think that has anything to do with perhaps the rough start you guys have gotten off to? Is it a big adjustment to play on uh, that field? I don't think that's got anything to do with, or anything to do with the start, but um, definitely it's you got to adapt to it. It's, it's different uh, playing on a smaller pitch. Uh, it's going to be more tackles and more duels. Uh, so it's something that, or, I mean, we're professional soccer players, so we, we, don't, we don't mind adjusting it and playing different types of style. Has it been different now that the U New York Yankees have started their season? Do you notice anything different about the field slash pitch? Not at all, actually. Uh, I heard the, the groundsmen are the, the best in the world, so uh, it's, it's not been an issue at all for me, at least. I know you're a huge sports fan, so have you been able to take in a Yankees game? No, but I'm, I'm going uh, very soon. I got, a, I got like 75 Yankee caps, so... Uh, I'm going to be rocking those at the games. There you go. You'll have plenty to choose from. Now, of course, NYCFC, lots of star power. Not just you, David Villa. And we thought Frank Lampard was going to be there for the whole season. Turns out he'll be coming in July after the EPL season ends. Did you think he was going to be here the whole year? Uh, I mean, I, I knew as much as you. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't think we... We're, we're, we're ready for him to come, and uh, we can't wait. It's, he's a, obviously a, a world-class player, and I think he's going to contribute a lot. But right now, we can't think too much about that. We've got to focus on ourselves. Of course. How could he change the dynamic of the midfield? Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a great player, and uh, our midfield are, are filled with players who understand the game pretty well and like to, like to keep the ball in good technical. So I think uh, he fits perfectly in, uh, into our, our system and group. Absolutely. Everyone waiting for Frank Lampard to make it over here stateside. And you were also, as I said, member of the U.S. men's national team. You were in Brazil with the, for the World Cup last summer, which had us all so excited, and you played fantastic. Um, do you feel like the latest U.S. men's national team win, the Dos Zero against Mexico, to have a scoreline like that again, psychologically, does that give you an advantage going into, say, Gold Cup play this summer? Yeah, obviously it's just a friendly, but... On the other hand, it's not really just a friendly. It's it's against Mexico, and I mean, 65,000 people in San Antonio. It's an incredible environment. The atmosphere it doesn't really get better than that. And winning 2-0 against Mexico, it, that's one of the, the better soccer feelings you can have. It was a raised some eyebrows when Jurgen Klinsmann called up a college kid. We had not seen that very often when Jordan Morris from Stanford came up. How did the team react to that? No, it's it's nothing special. If 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 you're good enough, you're good enough. And Jordan Morris is a is a great player. He's He's going to become even better and better and evolve. To a great soccer player, he's, he's humble and, and uh, just a nice guy. So I think he's going to do well in the soccer world, and he's off to a great start. Fantastic. You know, just a kind of weird story about Montreal Impact, you know, CONCACAF final, uh, last second leg. They're thinking about getting another goalie on loan from MLS. It could be your goalie from NYC FC. Is that cool? How does that sit with the, with the players on the pitch? <laughs> well, we, of course we want to keep keep our players um, <laughs> but I mean if we can help people out we'll, or, or clubs out we might we might have to do that it's it's not really up to me about those decisions you know it's you finally playing in MLS what is your first impressions of this league I mean there's been a few times you were going to come you were going to come and now you're finally here so what's it been like 
I mean, I, I haven't played her for too long right now, so if you ask me in about six months, i got a better answer for you. But um, the, the people I've talked to who's played both in, in Norway or different places in Europe and MLS, they say it's, it's, a, it's a very physical league. You get less time in the ball, kind of. A um, lot of great athletes, you know, fast and strong. And uh, it's, it, it helps my game. It's, it's fun to play uh, with, with different, uh, a different type of soccer. Okay. More things about you, just getting to know Mix the Man. We know, obviously, your hair has its own Twitter account. That's kind of fun. But you told me that you are a huge fan of all sports, really, and that your favorite basketball team is the Phoenix Suns. They're not playing in the postseason right now, but what was your experience being a Phoenix Suns fan living in Norway? Um, I always, my, my, my Norwegian and American family live in, in Scottsdale, Arizona, so I always, always traveled there uh, when we had off season for about one or two months and went to many Phoenix Suns games. And yeah, Steve Nash, back in the day when he was there, he, he was, he was the big idol and he's also kind of a soccer player, a really good one as well. So, um, yeah, uh, I admire him.